Hello, welcome to Vocabulary Wednesday. I am Chris with McGoosh, and today's theme is interesting. I've been doing this for a while, and yet there are high-frequency, important GRE words that have yet to grace Vocab Wednesday. And so I whoop, looked around all these vocab lists and found five awesome words. Actually, four. It's titularly or t entitled. It's five awesome high-frequency words. But there are only four because my whiteboard, my mini whiteboards, these guys, they disappeared. Let's start with finagle, though, because here's one of them. So to finagle is to try to get something through deception, through being tricky. So maybe someone finagled my whiteboard and tried to convince me, and I forgot about it, how they really needed it. And now they've absconded or disappeared with it. So again, finagle, to try to get something through tricky means. So I was at a concert the other day, and I was sitting way in the back. Didn't like it. And so... Went down close to the concert, maybe about halfway through, and was able to walk in and say, hey, I'm just going to go look over there. And they didn't really pay attention. And boom, I was sitting in better seats. That's illegal. Please don't report me. But I was able to finagle my way into the nicer section. Bad, Chris. Okay. Salutary. Next. Again, high-frequency words. These are really important for the GRE. Salutary. Salu comes from the Latin for health. So originally, this word just meant like promoting health. But now it's taken on a wider meaning. And it means anything that's beneficial. So for our brains, so our brains can grow, it's salutary to have new experiences. Or intellectually, it's salutary to read, especially challenging material about something you haven't ever heard about or know very little about. So again, just generally think the word beneficial, boom, replace it with salutary, and you got it. Next, inviolate. So if something is inviolate, it cannot be defy. It could not be tarnished. It is something that is held sacred. So, if for you, GRE Vocab Wednesdays are inviolate, that means if I don't come up here on Wednesday some, for some reason we forgot to post the video, you're really upset. How could anyone possibly deprive you of your inviolate GRE videos? More along the lines of this word usually comes in the context of nationalism or patriotism for many people in America. The American flag is inviolate. For some, their, maybe their anthem is inviolate and they must, you know, put their hand on their chest or whatnot whenever they hear it. So anything that's sacred, something that can't be broken or defiled by someone else is inviolate. And last word, again, only four, sorry. Onerous. Looks like one onerous, two onerous, three onerous. But it's actually pronounced onerous. It has nothing to do with math, unless math is very difficult or demanding for you. Because onerous means any task or describe something that is difficult, that is demanding. Learn 3,000 GRE words, obviously an onerous task. Watch Chris's GRE Vocab Wednesday where there's only four really cool words, not quite so onerous. But remember, pronounce it right, nothing to do with math. It's demanding, but learning GRE doesn't have to be. Check us out, jerry.babouche.com, and I'll see you next week.